How did you want Monarch to feel distinct from other Godzilla narratives out there? I have to give credit to Matt Fraction and Chris Black who created the show. And I was obviously interested when I got a call saying, hey, do you want to talk about Godzilla? I've loved Godzilla since I was a kiddo. Um, but then when I read the script that that Matt and Chris had created, I was so impressed by the fact that it was in the monster verse for sure, but it was a multi-generational family drama and mystery. And it felt like such an interesting way in. And it's beautiful and it's poetic and it's emotional. It takes place in different, different time periods and different continents. But the thing that's so special about it and what was so interesting to me as a filmmaker is I love the MonsterVerse movies and I love being up in the stratosphere with Godzilla battling Kong. But this show is about being down on the ground and what is it like to be in the middle of one of those battles and how does uh, an experience with Godzilla change your life? And the trauma of that moment is one of the inciting incidents in our show. And so that's what made it special to me. It was that a chance to tell a really human story set against uh, this giant scale and spectacle. You know, this show takes place before King of Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, can you talk about how the show helps pave the, rate, the, the, the road to those sequels and maybe even next year's uh, big event? We are excited about being a part of the MonsterVerse, of course, and building on everything that's come before. And we were telling a story in multiple time periods. So we had to be very aware of how we were inserting ourselves into the existing mythology and building off of what those other films had created. Um, and, and of course, you're excited that whatever you create can help impact the things to come. Um, but as you know, as a film, as film, as the filmmaker working with Matt and Chris, like we were all very concerned most with making our story as special as possible and making these characters as unique as possible. Now, would you be interested in uh, being involved in a second season if that were in the plans for Monarch? We poured our heart and soul into this season. We love it. We're so proud of it. We hope people love it. Um, if I could knock on some wood, I would. <laughs> uh, I would hate to talk about future seasons until people have a chance to watch this one and hopefully they love it. Now, I want to pivot real quick. Uh, I want to ask about WandaVision. It's been a few years. Fans are still holding out hope for a proper season two. Do you think there's any chance down the road that that might happen? I don't think so. You know, we were telling a very specific story, a complete story, a story about grief, um, about Wanda's journey, having lost vision. And we completed that story. And Jack Schaefer is an amazing writer who wrote WandaVision, has created a show called Agatha. And it's not a WandaVision season two, but it's definitely uh, existing in uh, in that universe, of course, and with some of the characters that you met um, on that show, Agatha. Um, in particular. So, you know, th there are elements of WandaVision that are out there still in their own way. Um, but uh, but a proper WandaVision season two um, with more sitcom styles and all of that is definitely not in the cards. Fantastic Four. I know you can't give any details, but if you were to list any of your favorite comic storylines with those characters, what would those be? I couldn't possibly. I mean, first of all, it's an amazing comic book that I loved since I was a kid, just like Godzilla. And it's a joy to be able to work on it. But it's there's, you know, 60 years plus of brilliant storylines from Kirby and Lee and Byrne and Hickman and you name it. Matt Fraction, Matt Fraction, yeah. the one of the co-creators of this show is one of the great FF writers. So couldn't possibly say. Ah!